trading. Hope everybody had a wonderful trading day. Um, we we didn't do all that. Uh, we had a couple good trades. We um, but we missed on on Mara. We we're we we're early on that, which means we were wrong. Um, we will jump back into that at a certain point. Um, but uh, we're going to go through uh, SPX. We're going to go through a couple of the markets, the indices, and maybe some individual names. We have to, if we have any time from the um, from the group, the option guys, check it out. The link is in the description. Um, here we go. So, oh, go down to that bottom right hand corner if you're new here. Hit that options tender logo and subscribe. All right, SPX on the daily had a nice push up after off the um, 8 MA as well as regaining this trend line. Um, so a good push. We didn't get all time highs yet here. So we're at a little bit of resistance. I did take a, a small um, MES futures short. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit. OK, it looks like we're on, working on wave five now. So we have one, two, three, four, five in expanding diagonal. Um, let's move on to some of the indices. Let's go with uh, NQ. I prefer futures rather than QQQ. Uh, still going after hours, pushed up a couple more percent, but looking good, making all time highs. Um, just a nice move, just running off of that eight of May, uh, trend, trending hard to the upside, looking very strong tech. All right, sorry about that. I had a uh, uh, pesticide person just came by for sales. Um, dogs barking, everything's going crazy. All right, here we go. We are uh, RTY. We've been in a sideways range. We may have topped here. If not, we're looking to make all time highs pretty soon. We just have to get over this um, resistance here, and then we're on our way to all time highs. Looking good for. RTY at this time we had a pullback same same thing one two three four and looking for way five all right let's go check out the VIX VIX futures still in the wedge that we've been talking about for weeks months forever it seems like um, but broke down from this uh, this resistance now support back to maybe resistance <laughs> we're uh, coming back down maybe we make one more low down here and then we'll have to see what happens if we um get a diver divergence positive divergence on this one and start to break out from the wedge which means we would be headed for some volatility folks um let's see what btc this was the crazy folks that um i got uh i got shaken out of mara today uh, BTC just completely capitulated. You see the that big volume. I added this other support line that was there. I thought these others would hold. Uh, they did not. And now we have a nice tail candle. We need to see if there's any follow through. Get back over this 200 day moving average. Then I will consider being a little bit more safe and uh, taking the trade on BTC. I actually tried to trade uh, their new product, um, MT, MBT. And uh, wasn't able to. It said call, <laughs> call, TD, Ameritrade. So I did not do that yet. Uh, that'd be very nice to have micros on that and uh, go ahead and trade Bitcoin uh, directly rather than all the proxies on this uh, on this site instead of using Coinbase and Binance. I've had all those, but I really like TD uh, Thinkorswim. So all right, um, anything else? What do you want to go through? Piton. We have Piton. Some winners in our Discord. Piton looking really good. Big move uh, <clears throat> off of the trend line, consolidated a bit, and had a great day today. Uh, ran right into the 200 MA, so we need to see what happens after that increasing volume. But uh, if we break above the 200 A, then we're talking some bullishness. Maybe we can get those cross uh, the 8, 20, 50, any of those to start crossing back to the upside. Peloton. Give me a quick look at Mara. Mara took a dip, came right back to the eight of May, closed that gap. Jeez. Oh man, panicked out of that one. <clears throat> GDX or gold. Gold. We want to do gold. Gold is just completely doing nothing. It's consolidating. We're just chopping around um, uh, the inside day. 
here, double inside, and we're just going to see if we can. It looks like we're going to chop through time for the A to May to head down um, to the area instead of going to it. I was hoping we'd get a nice bounce and then uh, continue either down or consider this a two um, and start heading back to the upside and invalidating this down move. So I think that's all we're going to do today, folks. Um, thanks for joining us here at Options Tender. Uh, we will see you in the morning. Okay, just want to add one more thing in here um, before we get going. Two more, ES on the 65-minute chart, and then we'll finish off with SPX. So getting down to the nitty-gritty here, we uh, had our move one, two, three, four, and then another uh, minuet wave five wave up to end wave five possibly so this might be a nice wave one to start um or x y z to the upside uh but we did make it right to the expected move and you see this nice tail candle this is why i took the um short at uh right underneath 4236 and pushing off to the downside. So I'm shorting against this candle. If we break above this candle, it invalidates. So we'll go from there. I'm looking for a target. I'm just gonna take my uh, a small move here to support since we're in an uptrend. Um, we'll close out at 42.23. But then um, I do believe, I think if we break this trend line, we're gonna head back and test this line down here, which would make sense. And, um, if there's possible, if there's possibility it's done here. Looking for a big down move um, on these impulsive moves there. And uh, let's move over to the SPX one more time to end off on the expected moves for the week. Expected moves are the playing field. Tell me this didn't work out perfect. This is the playing field for the week. 90 points to the upside or 90 points to the downside. We tag that perfectly and are coming back into the range. Um, this is beautiful that's as good as it gets okay all right thanks for joining us here at options tender see you in the morning